everybody how's it going i'm seth and welcome back to a, another video today in this video folks i am going to be doing something different uh i'm going to be playing a game that is currently free to play this is of course a demo and it is on steam so i will link it both in the video description as well as in a pinned comment for those that are interested in giving this game a go it is completely free but do bear in mind it is a demo uh the game is called zoria age of shattering it is a turn-based rpg game and we'll have a look through it we'll play around with it and we'll see what this is about and i'll give you guys some information about the game because of course i've come across this game through a fellow content creator on twitch as well as on youtube and i have been chatting with the devs for the game so i'll give you some information about the game we do get a bit of a cutscene now do bear in mind that it is an indie game and what's amazing is that this game that you are looking at and watching me play is actually developed by a total of three developers that's it that's how many people are working on this game to my understanding so what you see here is absolutely amazing it is a <laughs> an achievement in itself they've done something that normally takes a team of 2200 people to do in terms of gaming and programming and all that stuff so what you will see throughout this gameplay video keep in mind at all times that it has basically only been worked on by three people and no more now i believe it has taken up to three years to get to the stage that you will see me play this game at and of course there is still more to go potentially half a year maybe a year we don't know exactly when the game is going to be released so i'm just going to tweak the sound it is a bit loud of course i will do some sound management in the editing process as well so you guys don't have your eardrums blown out but we do get a bit of a tutorial as well all right so i'm playing the game you can change the camera angles you can go around exploring stuff and picking things up the game from what i can see bearing in mind it is an indie game um looks pretty good i like what i see it's not as colorful as other games but i guess they are going for a slightly more grayish sort of look the lightings in general look okay i mean i cannot be too critical with it I have to keep in mind at all times that this was developed by a team of three people. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to go around trying to explore absolutely every nook and cranny in this game. I do like the idea of exploring. Um, I feel like we're going to get basically a team of characters together. So let me see. How do you pick this up? There we go. Nope, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it. Okay. Um, I will probably most likely play it for a couple of hours, but I will just cut to certain bits and pieces of the game. It is a story-driven game. This is quite important. I did forget that, so there's a bit of reading to do. Now, as this is a very small team that have done this as you can see there is no voice acting so maybe that's something that might be added at some point in the future that could be a thing most definitely so i'm just kind of going through the story just trying to see how things are happening you know try and get a uh, feel for the game and the lore it has to offer i do like that guy's mace it's very nice and flashy and sparkly <laughs> let's go this way so i'm leaving the building i have explored every little corner okay so we're getting into a fight already now this i don't know what i'm doing if i'm honest so i can't attack from this position i've got like a radius to attack as far as i can see all right so these are my options right now these are my turns and on the left side we have 
basically the full turn meter. So I wonder if there's a possibility to manipulate turn meters. That'd be totally cool. So it's basically a turn taken game. Um, what would be nice if is if you can uh, manipulate the turns and stuff. That'd be totally amazing. So it takes an action push. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and kind of go this way and get the bad guy to come to me. Uh, hopefully he uses up both of his action points to do that. So I guess we get two action points per turn. So we'll leave it at that. I think we're far enough. I hope we're far enough at least. I think I'll move you slightly this way. I don't know how much they can move. Okay, confirm. Let's see what happens. Is that it? Oh. Did not see that one. I still need to move. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I guess we'll get close to him and then we will give him a sword to the face. Like that. So I need to move this guy as well. Fair enough, I can't do it. Um, we'll kind of move. Oh, we're we gonna get two action points. So basically, when you use up your action points, that's it. At least he missed, and he didn't miss on the second one. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so that was our first. Ma oh, what's that? Okay, maybe not stand in the clouds when you see them on the ground. Things fall from the sky, so I don't know what that is. I'm guessing those would be catapults. Okay, cleared out this area as well. Got some more followers. I think they might potentially be temporary because they are very high level. If you look at them and compare them to my main character. So I guess we open up a bridge right here. So, okay. We got the next part of the story, I guess. Okay, so, so far, visually speaking, the game looks good, it looks pleasant, I like what I'm seeing. I mean, this is quite amazing, bearing in mind that uh, this isn't like a full team of people working on it. A lot has been done, it's, uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good stuff so far. I think one thing that I could mention is it could do with a bit of a mini-map of sorts. Not that uh, it's difficult to explore and uh, uh, up to this point I can't say I've gotten lost. So it's pretty well designed in that regards. But I just, ooh, I think I aggroed a bit too many accidentally. So or maybe this might be part of the gameplay, I don't know. What can I do now? Oh wait, this guy was an archer. Oh, that sucks. That was bad for me. I totally shouldn't have moved that guy there. That was absolutely bad. So very important, as you can see, I can't hit certain creatures and NPCs because they are in the way. Uh, there are uh, basically there are other things in the way, so that in this case it would be my characters. So it seems like line of sight for this game is an important element, which is pretty cool. I like that detail. All right, where can I move you? I can deal with this guy right here at the bottom very easily, but I wanted to put you somewhere here. No, that was a bad choice. I'm still getting used to the characters and their mechanics, so, you know, not really sure what these guys do. Alright, so he can hit two people at once. Wow, okay. I mean, we're doing alright for damage, for health, so we should be able to take this on. Now. We do this.
Okay, he dropped some gold. And I won't be able to because we're not in line of sight. So I need to move here. So we're going to use up an action point anyways. Maybe there. I think that might work. Okay. Let's pick up all the resources. So basically we have to destroy the catapults to give people in the village, castle, fort, whatever, a chance to escape. That is, as I understand, the mission, the aim of the mission. Oh, what's this do? Nice. That's definitely useful. Okay, it's foggy here. Graveyard. Very nice. Normally fog in a graveyard and a cutscene like this, let's call it cutscene for lack of better words, or dialogue scene, means we have something bad coming up. Here we go. So we're going up a necromancer, 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 oof, totally butchered that name on the first go. E slightly outnumbered here. They don't have a lot of HP. Okay, that was good. I could probably weaken another one. I'll take that guy down because he's gonna do some damage. So I think what I'm gonna do is for this round, try to take out as many of these guys as I can. The fewer there are, the less damage we'll take. Well, we will move you. Um, see, I use two action points if I go all the way there. Can I attack from this distance? No, I cannot. Oh. So I'm going to waste another action point, aren't I? Yep. Okay, fair enough. Can't do anything from here. So I'm hoping that by moving these guys here, I will aggro those two skeletons there. And they'll leave my ranged unit alone. So that seems to have worked. That guy's taking a beating. Okay. And he gets another hit, didn't he? No? That was just one? Fair enough. So we'll deal with this guy. We should be within range, I think. Almost. No? Okay, fair enough. I guess I'll move this guy here and we'll bolt this character right there. Um, okay, so we can kind of attack this guy. Definitely need a heal right now. However little, that'll do. Can I hit this guy? Not in range. Um, we'll do this then. Ooh, I'm so happy that that one missed. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm not gonna be in line of sight. Am I? Plus, not I'm not in range either. So that should kind of suffice we shouldn't need to move any further these two guys right here and they can deal with that necromancer we'll deal with uh, see uh, I want to try that one I feel like I want to try it so let's go for it all right did a bit more damage We need to move you closer to there. So we also have a heal on this guy. Maybe I should save it for now. I should place you like this. So that way we can AOE heal the group. There we go. That sorts my problem out. 
I'm so glad that second one was a miss. I should be able to deal with the necromancer eventually. The music's a bit... Um, I, I don't feel it for the battle, if I'm honest. Yeah, I think it's when this, like, trumpet sequence comes in. I don't really feel it for the battle. The drums and everything else sounds alright. It's just a trumpet noise. Just personal preference here. So let's move on to the next section. I can see some sparkles over here. I don't know what this does, so I'm going to interact with it. Hopefully this is my reward for beating the Necromancer. Well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it. Um, so, I'll move you here, and we'll start firing at you. You have a lot of HP as well. I'm hoping that I can take you down before you actually do any serious damage. Luckily, I'm within range. That's good. I'm still playing around with the mechanics. I know I'm making a lot of mistakes here. But I did want to move my character in the way to kind of block him from doing anything to my ranged units. Oh, maybe that didn't work out. Dude, he's got a range on him. And see, I accidentally didn't do myself any favors either, so I'm going to have to move to maybe this point right here, and then we can do this again. That could have been a very costly mistake. So, cancel. We have to move. Um, maybe like so. We're still in range of being hit anyway, so what's the point? Do that. And we hit him with the sword once. Across the face. Hit him again. We have the option for a heal. Uh, which I think would be very useful right now. think we should be finished with this guy. We do get a decent amount of XP. I think another thing I'd like to see is the NPCs drop loot. That'd be cool. I mean, by loot, I don't just mean silver. So we have to set up camp. We have to rest because we're hurting. So this is how you heal. You set up camp, you then play with the slider, rest for however many hours, and then basically carry on with your journey. Obviously you need to have um, supplies and stuff like that to be able to rest the full amount. But at the moment, uh, because I've been exploring every nook and cranny of the game and uh, of the map, I seem to be okay for supplies. Okay, so I've been going through a cave. I did finish the, I uh, suppose, tutorial part of the game. I've been playing the real game for some time now. And we seem to get attacked by these guys quite often. So far I can say I've not really seen any uh, big bugs or big issues with the game. 
to be fairly honest with you guys uh, it runs pretty darn good and flawlessly I like what I've seen not a lot of problems with it so it's a pretty solid game in that department I did manage to move one of the um, followers that I had um, in the tutorial part after they left so I just kind of just bumped into him and moved him around the map and kind of entertained myself with that I wanted to see if I could break him but I didn't break him so that's pretty cool oh he's taking a beating <laughs> see I think this guy right here is a bit of a tank because he's got a taunt mechanic and I'm guessing this other guy with the sword is meant to be a DPSer and obviously we have the archer which is a ranged unit All right, let's do some healing right now and we get another action point to use up like so I can see a lot of similarities with this game between or between this game and uh, Dungeons and Dragons I haven't played Dungeons and Dragons very much but the whole action point system is pretty cool so kinda makes me think about that we'll do another taunt okay and we do this there we go we have now leveled up again So we get to see some greenery. The area looks pretty cool. I like the design. Oh, we get a bear. All right. I guess we will fight the wildlife because why not? Um, I'm getting used to the mechanics, to be fairly honest. It's actually not a bad game. It's, it's different to what I normally play, to be fairly honest. But it's not bad at all. It's really, really good. See, why can't we skin the bear, get some pelt off him, make some armor out of him? It's not, and there's nothing here. So I do like to thoroughly scope out the map and the area around just to see what there is to, to find. Okay, so we have a quest giver by the looks of things okay we can get some news and stuff like that I'm not really gonna start reading all this it would take forever so I guess I'll go into this which I believe possibly maybe the quest yeah we get a dialogue right here Of course, for those that have made it this far in the video, this is actually a single player game. I'm not sure if there will be a multiplayer to this, but I can totally see um, a lot of use for a multiplayer sort of map or mode. Uh, similar to, let's say, for example, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. There's a lot of room for that sort of play style. Which is pretty cool. I think this totally should be put into the game. I just, I just thought about it as I'm playing it. This does feel a lot like like a Dungeons and Dragons game. And so if, imagine if you could play with friends and do this and have your own like little story and quest and stuff like that. It would be freaking cool. Okay. So we need to talk to you. I guess this is another quest over here. 
I'll pick this up, complete this one, and see what else there is to find. Um, I'll probably do some more exploring, but as you can see, there are quite a few uh, differences and uh, uh, a lot of variety in textures is what I meant to say. So we've seen forest, we've seen a bit of a cave, we've seen a castle. The grass and the environment looks pretty decent as well as the trees and pretty much everything. And you know what? It doesn't stutter. It looks and runs really smooth. Okay, so we kind of entered a cave and did the outside area. There is a great sense of evil here. Oh, nice. Bit of voice acting. Could do with more of that. Totally could do with more of that. And I like the view from up here. It's like you can see a lot of the map. Okay. So let's carry on down here. We get some stuff that we can pick up. I'm looking at the environment and all of the texturing and stuff and so far I'm really happy with what I've seen. It looks really good. I did not expect it to look as good as this when I found out that uh, only three people have worked on this game. It looks really, really, really solid. I like it. One thing I've not figured out yet is what I do with all of those items that I'm getting. So over here we get one of those bridges. Uh, as far as I understand it from the tutorial is you need a magic or mage caster or something like that to cast a bridge which is interesting. So I like that mechanic so we need to find a mage meaning we'll get most likely our fourth member of the team. Okay, and like even this room, like the detail of the room was pretty good. It does create a good vibe. And I think important will be for this game is to save a lot, often and frequent. <laughs> so I think I'll just save here because I think I'm going to get into some trouble. I'll use this slot right there. Perfect. Ooh, and a fight. I wonder if that thing hurts them. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So I'm going to move here. I'm going to use my action point and move here. When I get the other guy right in the middle of that thing. There we go. One down. That's pretty cool. I like that. I guess this will be as far as I can go. Save up on some resources and ammo. Maybe like that. I hope he's in it. So I'm going to wait for that to come down. Nope. No damage. I did manage to kill one of those guys. I'm not quite sure how the damage mechanics works. Um, it may be possible that once we are in this combat screen, environmental hazards don't do damage. Um, it's only if I can lead them into this before we get into the combat screen. We'll pick this up. Again, a lot of stuff that I don't know what they do. I've not actually found a use for them yet. I'll pick them up. I don't know if I'll need them at some point in the future, but I will pick them up. So let's go this way. Ooh, shiny stuff, so I'll pick that up. Okay, and... We are immediately attacked as we go in. 
We've got another fight coming up. Ah, that's a bit too far. So let's see what's exactly going on here. Shouldn't be that difficult. We only have two bad guys. So if I move here, I'm still out of range. Oh, that sucks. Um... Okay. So maybe a thing that could be added is when you move your character uh, to show the um, range for the main attack. So that would be a thing maybe to add to the game. It would help with um, not making as many mistakes as I do. So let's taunt these guys. We need a heal right there. And uh, narrow to the face right there. Perfect. We'll do another taunt. We want him to stay focused on the tank. So... Slightly out of range right there. No, actually, I'm perfect. We'll do a heal. Keep our tank alive. I'll have to move. All right. We'll pick these up, and there's a mage there. I'm guessing he's not going to be friendly, so let's go and see. No, he's totally not friendly. <laughs> he's totally not friendly. Uh, we'll go here. Should be able to get him from this distance. So those are my action points. We will give him two arrows to the face, like so. Oh, he's got a range on his attacks. So I can move here. There's really no point in... Actually trying to avoid him. He's got quite a great range. Not a lot of space to move around in this area. So we can then get close and hit him across the face with our sword. We give him an arrow. And that's that. Okay. So there's nothing to loot in this section right here. So I'm going to go over this way. Aha. Interesting. Okay. We can go in here. I'm expecting more bad stuff, to be honest. So far... Oh, hey. I think this is what we were looking for. Or who we were looking for. So I guess after this dialogue, we get our fourth member of the party. So I'll just quickly go through this. I'm not sure exactly what happened, who said what. I hope this is not something important or a mission or quest that I have to complete because I totally did not read it. <laughs> yes, that's what happened. So we've got a few levels to work with. We've got some stuff here in our inventory. A lot of um, items kind of mixed about. A lot of stuff that I don't know what they do, in all fairness. But yeah, 
Okay, so kind of gonna end the video here. The game is pretty solid. It runs smooth. I've not really encountered any bugs so far, and it totally has um, a strong feel of playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, really good. I can see a lot of people enjoying this sort of a game. Um, it does have, I suppose, a community. Uh, the only thing, I mean, it's good as a single player, but what makes Dungeons and Dragons stand out is the multiplayer aspect of it, uh, where you play with a friends and you discover and make your own story and you make your own character. So, you know, the base coding is here. Uh, the base programming is here for such a game. And I think that something like this, this game definitely should have that multiplayer aspect. Or uh, maybe have a vast list of characters to choose from where you can customize them and make your own story apart from uh, just the single player aspect and I think this would be a game that a lot of people would play as it stands it is a single player and I do hope that there are plans for a multiplayer this game does deserve it um, with that being said and done I am going to end this video here you guys saw what it's like Feel free to go on Steam and download it and check it out. It is definitely worth a look. And with that said, it is time to end this video. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so they get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Zatopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.